Hi guys, I'm Rock and Roller Hairstylist, and if you remember from my last video, I have done a lovely 1940s inspired set on the lovely Betty here. So what I'm going to show you today is a couple of simple techniques to really jazz up your 1940s inspired set um, and just give it an extra wow factor. So what I'm going to do, as I do with a lot of vintage hairstyles, is I like to do quite a dramatic side parting. So I'm going to part Betty's hair to come behind you, Betty. She's a little bit ratty and knotty from being played with. So my parting, I'm taking round to the top of the crown. My side parting all the way round. About there. So I want more hair on this side. And to be honest, I think we could actually afford to take more hair than that over. So I'm going to take another section over. Yes. Okay, yeah, so this is the section that I've chosen, and I'm quite pleased with that. So, I know it sounds stupid, but when you're going to do some back combing, you actually really need to make sure the hair is not free. And Betty is definitely not not free at the moment. So she needs a good brush, you can see some knots on the end, and I can start my back combing. So I'm going to take my vintage backcombing brush that I used in the last video and just show you once again how to backcomb. I'm going to have to turn you ever so slightly Betty. So I'm going to take a section here and I'm going to be putting in my backcombing. So push down, 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 that's it. Over here is standing up, but still movement in it, I still want some movement in there. And again, starting at the bottom, push down, 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 down. Lovely. Keep working your way through the hair, section by section. Now the reason why I'm doing it this side is because I want my victory roll to go this side. So I'm going to do a nice big roll at the front of Betty's hair and I don't want the bits that I've backcombed to be on the outer side, they need to be underneath. So they are disguised a little bit more. You just keep working your way through. Pushing your comb down. Very nearly there. Just keep pushing the cane down. And again. Well, you're obviously ready, Betty. Lovely job. Just kidding. Okay, what I'm going to show you next is my Denman backcombing brush here which is for large areas of backcombing this is most certainly a large area um, but I wanted to use my vintage backcombing brush because I wanted this lovely structure this would be more suitable for getting a little bit of lift doing a little bit of backcombing and getting a bit of shape that's really all that's suitable for not really this so much but it has lovely soft bristles and what it's actually really good for is smoothing so what we want to do is we need to smooth out what we have just done. We don't want to brush out the back comb in. We need the back comb in there, but we really need to smooth it so we can manipulate the hair and we can get it to do what we want. I'm happy with this shape around the back. 
lovely and smooth, not so much at the front. Just keep smoothing this over, gently brushing over. If you look at the back, what we've done there is lovely and smooth. This is on the end of that section that we have back home, which is here. Now, what we need to do now, it's very ratty on the ends, aren't you, Betty? Is tuck this piece under like this. And roll. So if you do it nice and slow, pulling it tight as you go, not too tight, but it's small, you know, you can basically then manipulate this however you want it to be. So I'm going to go for around this sort of size, that's perfect for me. And I'm going to get one of my bobby pins. And I'm just going to pop one in there just to anchor it while I tinker around with the rest of the hair. I want this area at the back to be smoother. I'm going to get my smoothing brush again. Just lightly brush. I'm happy with that now. I'm going to disguise a pin in the hair. Just about there. Lovely and pleased with that. And now I'm going to cool this down ever so slightly because I want this to have a nice shape to it. And I'm going to pop another thing just in here. Now she has got a grand total of about three pins in her hair. Now to be safe, I like to put a lot more than that in, but this is just showing you to, to demonstrate that just the back comb and alone will start holding that in place. And then it's something as simple as three pins and a glass of hairspray and you're away. Whereas if you did this with hairspray and some pins, it would most certainly not hold. You need the back combing in there um, to form the structure. So I'm going to give Betty, whoopsie do that, a little glass of hairspray all the way around, smoothing as I go. A little spray in the hole. Now, I'm pretty pleased with Betty's hair there. I don't like this side quite as much. So what I'm going to do is just put a little bit of ornamentation in. So I'm just going to lift this little curl up a little bit and pop a lovely flower in. There we go. Now I'm now pleased with this. This is the front, the side, the back, and the other side, and obviously back to the front again. So, there you have it. A really simple tutorial to show you how to do some nice victory rolls to jazz up your 1940 set. Thank you so much for watching. Please do like and subscribe and please keep your eyes peeled for more videos that will be coming shortly. Thank you.